In this tutorial, we're going to go over some extended features on your scanning function on the RICO MFP. On the left hand side, you'll have scan settings. If you push scan settings, you'll have the option to scan in black and white, full color, or auto color select. If you choose auto color select, it will automatically detect if it has color in there. If the document has color, it will scan it in color. If it has black and if it's only black and white, it will scan in black and white. So choose your appropriate uh, setting for your document. Under resolution, you have six different settings. <coughs> I'm sorry, five different settings for resolution. Default is 200 DPI, which stands for dots per square inch. If you have small type and you want a clear resolution, you may want to go up to 300 or even 600 DPI though your file will be larger than at 200 dpi. Scan size. Now this is set as default as auto detect. In other words, whatever scan, whatever size paper you put in there, it'll automatically detect if you put it through the document feeder. If you put a document on the glass and it's not a, a, a normal size such as 5.5 by 8.5 letter or legal, you're going to have to go into scan size and choose a scan size such as 8.5 by 11 or 5.5 by 8.5. You can also under edit erase the borders of an original when you scan it. The next button down here is original feed type. This will auto rotate the document from the original and it'll rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. Original setting, well, you can uh, scan two-sided documents. If you have a two-sided original, set the appropriate setting based on your document, and the machine will scan both sides and send it as one PDF. Send file type slash name is how you choose a different file type you can send a PDF, a TIFF, or a JPEG. You can also add security settings such as encryptions and permissions. You can also give your file a name which brings up a full QWERTY keyboard. The preview button right here right here on the top or a hand corner. If that is highlighted, you will get a preview of your scan before it is actually sent to the destination. For an example, we'll go ahead and send this scan with the preview button highlighted. First we have to select our destination. If we hit search destination and make sure Empire LDAP is highlighted, we'll choose a name and just the first few letters is all we need and we start search we'll send one to Dave Poji and we can also send it to multiple recipients as well as Dave Winland push OK if there's more destinations you just continue uh, repeat the steps of search destination as you can see, email addresses, there's two. Dave Wendland is the last one that will show up. Once we push start, now brings up a preview of what the scan will look like. That is not what you want. <clears throat> if that is not what you wanted, you can cancel the sending, check your settings, and scan again.
If this is what you wanted, just push send and that will complete your scan. It is now in the email destinations attached as a PDF. And that concludes your tutorial on how to scan to an email.